welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Nicola. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here welcome 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 thank you for choosing this video and this channel to watch today I'm Nicola your Jamaican naturalist a hair guru and just good vibes spreader over here we talk about hair all things hair a little spice sometimes a little fool little face but mostly here over here cool and if you're a returning member you know the drill. Uh, thank you for coming back. I love you so much. Long, long time. Today, um, we are going to be cleaning house. Okay, cleaning house because cleanliness is next to godliness. Don't. So, them saying, I mean, so that, I didn't say that. So, some of us have followed the rules because you know, sad. Just say, go. Right? So, I'll be cleaning my hair tools today because uh, I used my tools to style my hair and so I need to get them clean, okay? And I'm going to show you how I cleaned uh, my rollers that I used to set my curls as well. What I did this time, guys, you know, I said I was going to put the rollers in and dip the hair in hot water, but I just wrapped the ends instead because that will kind of help to hold my curls too for the days I'll be having this style in. Plus, this is a style all by itself, don't. Wouldn't you say? Wouldn't you say? It's a step all by itself too. So yeah man, we are cleaning house today. So if you want to see how I clean my tools, please stay tuned. Remember to subscribe. Uh, yeah. So why is it important to clean your hair tools? Much like anything else, you have to clean the tools that you use all the time. Just like how you have to clean your tools in the kitchen. Uh, clean your car tools. Do you clean your car tools much? I don't know. But you know, clean your, your, your work tools, your school tools, um, tools, tools. <laughs> Please, uh, clean tools matter because you don't want to be transferring bacteria and germs and dirt and residue and product buildup from previous hairstyles to your fresh new hairstyle. You don't want to be using dirty tools in your hair that was just washed. You don't want to be using dirty tools that somebody else may have used. Their hair um, probably has dandruff, their hair probably has dry scalp, they probably have um, some other issues, they probably have hair dye, uh, some form of color in their hair. You don't want to be transferring that to your hair. That's if you share hair tools. And if you do share hair tools, it is not um, being scorned for anything if you clean your hair tools before you use it because I definitely do. I clean my hair tools even if I just use it and I'm going to use it again. I, I don't want me touching me, you get what I'm saying? So please to clean your hair tools if they are shared especially. And you want to clean your hair tools before every new use or every new style. So you know, like I just braided my hair, um, when I take this down and I'm washing my hair, I want to make sure I'm using clean tools. You can usually use your leave your tools for wash day so that when you're washing your hair, you wash your tools as well. But you know, you want to, suppose you don't want your day to go that long. You, you can use it like five minutes now to just wash them off and then have them drying and cleanly stored before you cleanly is that a word jesus christ it's cleanly a word guys <laughs> and have them clean and stored for whenever you're ready to grab them again okay so uh before i show you the physical thing uh, my tips are you can use warm water that's that you know that's the most preferred way to wash your tools to so wash your combs wash your brush wash your scrunches or hair ties uh if you reuse your elastic bands if they're like the big ones and they are strong or anything and you reuse them you can wash them as well so combs brushes hair ties the the attachments to your blow dryer uh you know the direction one that directs the heat or the comb that detangles those as well need to be washed uh yeah and you also need to wipe with a warm cloth 
or just a wet, wet cloth with um, some disinfectant or bleach or any other cleaning agent that is safe for use on your hands and on your tools to wipe down your flat iron, to wipe down your curling iron, to wipe down your hot comb, right? So, um, as I said, I remember I have to clean my, my, my flat iron as well. So I'll be showing you how to do that. But today, I am not necessarily going to be using warm water today. I'm just going to be using... I'm just going to be using um, some soap powder, a tad bit of bleach and water and that will get them clean as well. I will be showing you how I use warm water to wash the rollers that I used. Is that it? Yeah man. So please go grab you a little basin and or you can fill up your tub or your face basin, your sink and let's get started. So these are what I have to wash today guys. I already sprinkled some um, soap powder on all of them. So I've got an old toothbrush that I use for my edges. These tail combs, my brush, my white tooth comb and um, the scrunchies I use to hold my hair. I'm going to tip a little bit of bleach in there now. Not so much. All right, that's, that. that's way more than I need. <laughs> way more than I need. Okay, and washing them is quite simple. For these, what I have started doing is using my brush like a washing brush because it will get clean in the end and I use it to brush the things that have spokes like my comb and this um, blow dryer comb brush the brushes because they can get product build up right here like you see that that's gel yeah and it doesn't take much effort are you seeing everything else yeah It doesn't take much effort and I don't understand why some people don't clean their hair tools. You clean your makeup brushes, I would hope. So why not? Why not? For my scrunchies, if there's any hair on them, I tend to just try to pop it off like so. Sometimes it doesn't come off and probably need a scissors. But as long as I wash it, I, I think it's okay. A little hair won't, won't kill me. Again, I brush it with this. <laughs> if you don't want to use your hair brush, you can use a washing brush, but I won't use it too much to kind of damage it when it's already damaged. <laughs> so I don't mind. And how I clean the brush, I take one of these combs or any comb with fine teeth and I do this. This gets out any hair. There's not much hair in there now. There we go. Yep. That gets out any hair or gunk. I don't have much dirt tools this time, which is good. But I'm not too dirty this time. See a little here. Honestly, they just need to be rinsed properly and you're going to be fine, but you just need to make sure you don't have any product buildup in your tools and just need to make sure you're keeping them very clean. just going to put these on the outside on the balcony so that they get dried and that's it now to clean my flat iron guys of course i won't be using it water i'll be using a towel or a rag 
a rag like this, any rag will do. I think these rags are only sold in Jamaica. <laughs> but it's any random rag, I'm going to get it wet. And because I do not want to destroy the material on my flat iron or my blow dryer, I'm putting the very tiniest bit of bleach this time. Like I promised, the very tiniest. Oh, all right, that's more than I intended too, Jesus. My hands are so heavy. And I'm just going to get that in some water. I'm not using any soap because um, there's no color or anything on it. And I'm just going to, I got soap on my hand. Just going to rinse this rag out. Make sure that the wire is nowhere in sight to like um, water or anything. And just this part that actually goes onto my hair. Look on the sides, you may see a little brown that's like burnt product and everything. I'll make sure to get that out using my fingertip. My fingernails to press down onto it. Funny thing, guys, I'm I love this already. I wanted to show you that when the mousse gets in contact with your flat iron, my mousse it turns blue. <laughs> I saw it today and I was like, what? Just clean where my hands may have been oily. And honestly, that's it. I could also rub the rag along the cord and then I'm good. Blow dryer. And I'm just going to wipe the nozzle. Wipe the nozzle, here we go. The handle. Especially where I touch the buttons. Like that. And then I'll just wipe along the cord as well. And that's it guys. Quick and easy and fast. Don't yeah, quick, easy and fast. Now I'm going to show you how I washed the rollers. Bear in mind, I have never used these before and they obviously have not been used in a very long time, which is why they're dirty like this. So I added some soap powder to them and then I added some boiling water and this is where it's just soaking in the boiling water, soaking, soaking. I brushed it, then made it soak again. And then after brushing twice, I rinsed it and this is what they're looking like. They looked pretty well to me. And then I went ahead and rinsed them again with more warm water in case there was some dirt that I did not get to. But they look pretty clean thus far. Okay, so now here they are. Uh, very nice and clean and they're drying on a towel. I was actually pleased with how they came up because you remember the you beginning? Yeah, dirty, but no, it's very clean. And that was it, guys. Simply brushed it with a washing brush and here we are. Never take long either. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this short video on how to clean your brushes, your combs, your scrunchies, your flat iron, your curling iron, any and everything that you use in your hair. My nose, my nose, girl. At your dress alone, you go and see people wash setters. Well, guess what? You are a hairdresser today because your client, being you, no one of dirty tools and dirty product used in our ear or his hair, cool? So please just wash them, just wipe them down. Remember, you can use hot, well warm, or room temp, normal water. It don't really matter. Just make sure there's some cleaning agent in there and you wipe them down real good and I know someone has said, what are we using a brush, turn washing brush? Yes, because um, you don't want to be back and forth and it's quite easy. Had my combs been like really gunky and really dirty, I would have probably used a washing brush, but you know, it quick and fast, easy. And I just found out this, this one missed the wash day, so it'll be washed um, another time. But uh, like I said, guys, um, 
well, I didn't say, but now I'm saying, you know, the same way you wiped down the blow dryer, you can do that to your product bottles once you use them. Or you can rinse them out because water won't damage a jar, water won't damage a tube, water won't damage a bottle, right? So you can wash them down, make sure they're clean too because, you know, sometimes you use a hair gel and then you don't wipe it down and you put it down and when you go back to grab it with your clean hands, it's all sticky and nasty and probably flaky too. Flaky. So you don't want that. So just, you know, make sure you're cleaner. You wash your makeup brushes. It's... It's just a simple um thing to make sure you wash your hair brushes as well and your comb. Just just do the do, just do the do. Just make sure you're clean and so because clean girl and clean boy a good girl and good boy don't. <laughs> right. So just um be clean. So thank you for watching again. Um follow me at Nikki underscore Welsh so that anything you want to DM me or private message me, uh just go ahead and link me there. I'm. Nikki underscore Welsh on everything. Um, Maisoncrowns.wordpress.com is my blog, my website. Go check it out. I also did a blog on this a long time ago about why hair tools, clean hair tools matter. Um, and it speaks of bacteria and germs and everything and all that transferring. So again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I'm just going to say... Stay safe, stay clean, stay sanitized, stay happy, healthy, walk good, live, love, laugh, and spread good vibes, and watch these two videos. I'm out. Peace. Mwah.